everybody. It's Mark Rep, technology trainer of Port Huron Schools. And today I'm on a Chromebook. And with me, I have some Chromebook tips and tricks that I'd like to share with both students and teachers. Now let's take a look at bookmarks. Google Chrome has a bookmark bar, but quite often it's not being shown. Now, whenever you land on the Google homepage, it will be there, but it won't be showing in Google Drive. So you have to physically go up to the customize and control Google Chrome button. That's the three dotted button. Go down to bookmarks and turn the bookmark bar on by clicking show bookmarks bar. When you click here, it'll put a check next to show bookmarks bar. You can see the check now is there. And now the bookmarks bar will show in whatever app you're in within Google Chrome. To create buttons along the bookmarks bar, just click on the star at the far right of the address in the Google Chrome address bar. So I'll click on the star to bookmark this particular document. But it gives you a very long name for most websites and documents, so you can shorten that name by pressing the backspace key on your keyboard and just giving it a much shorter name. And then clicking Done. And notice the folder that it's saving to. There's a drop-down menu next to Folder, and you can choose which folder to save your bookmarks to. By default, it will be the bookmarks bar but you can change it at any time from this drop-down menu. Now I'll click Done, and if you don't have room left on your bookmarks bar, it will appear under this double arrow at the far right. And you can see that I have many bookmarks, so I'd have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find that bookmark that I just made. And there it is at the very bottom. Now I can drag this back onto my bookmark bar if I wanted it to be in a particular area, you'll see the vertical line that appears, and then I just drop it right here. Now, if it's a website that I know the icon of by heart, like Clever, you don't even need a title. And these titles can be shortened or edited anytime you want by simply right-clicking, which is a two-finger tap, or Alt-click on a Chromebook. When you get the right-click menu, then just click Edit, and then you can shorten the title of any of these bookmarks. When you're done editing the title, just click Save. I like to keep the title as short as possible so that I can get the greatest number of bookmark buttons on this bar. So you can see the varying length of titles that I have here, many of which are just icons. So now that we have these bookmarks on the bookmark bar, I'll minimize this window and I'm going to use the launcher. The launcher can be accessed by clicking on this little circle in the bottom left corner of the shelf or you can press the search button on your Chromebook keyboard. It's the third button up on the left side of the keyboard. Press that search button and the launcher will pop up. Now you know you can search your Chromebook using this search box. You can search for apps, but you can also search the web and you can search your bookmarks bar. For example, you know that I had a bookmark for Clever. So I'll just type in Clever, and you can see the star right here indicating that I have bookmarked Clever. I also just created a bookmark for Chromebooks. It was called Chromebook Troubleshooting Cheat Sheets. So all I have to do is type in Chromebook, and you can see that I have two bookmarks created for that topic. If I wanted to see if I had a bookmark on Google Slides, for example, I can type in Slides. It brings up the app for Google Slides, and it also brings up the website for Google Slides directly below that. If I had a bookmark, it would show it with a star. How about Google Classroom? If I typed Classroom into this search, it not only brings up the app for Classroom, but it also shows that I have a bookmark for my classes at classroom.google.com. You can see the star right here indicating that I have a bookmark. If I clicked here, it would go right to my Google Classroom. And you can see it shows all of my classes. So this has been a crash course in using bookmarks, the bookmarks bar, the launcher, and the search within the launcher to find bookmarks on a Chromebook. I'm Mark Rep. Join me again for more Chromebook tips. Bye-bye.